you're at a party you were invited to by a good friend. Your friend promised not to leave you by yourself, but they got involved in chatting with others and left you sitting in that chair in the corner alone. And then it happens. A stranger comes over to chat with you. As you anticipate their arrival, which words would you rather hear first from this stranger? Hello, I'm such and such. Who are you and what are you doing here? That interrogation questioning, which is why you didn't want to go to the party in the first place. Or, this party is horrible. Not enough food, not the right food, and the music stinks. What do you think? Most would admit liking the latter of the two because they can jump on board quickly and add their own two cents of complaints if they wish. However, you know that complaining is an often used form of communication. It's particularly effective when one person wants to connect to another person quickly, even a previously unknown person. Complaining allows the two individuals to connect immediately and begin the friend process. And for you, you ask yourself, is this the type of person I want to be with in a close long-term relationship? Your answer is no, because the Bible teaches us not to complain. Complaining can be used as an attempt to intentionally belittle others so the complainer can gain power or control at another's expense. We may see it occur when someone is doing their best to help others, such as giving a party or minding their own business, and the complainer attempts to step in and make it their business by finding flaws in the other's good works. Also, you know this complaining behavior may rub off on you and you become a stumbling block for others if you are not careful in your association with the complainer. On the other hand, if the complainer asks for your help to control their complaining, you will help as you can, but keep foremost in your mind that any change to be made will have to be by the one complaining. You'll also be upfront and let them know that you will not tolerate complaints toward the ones you love, nor will you tolerate complaints toward yourself. It's tough love from you. Now using my stoic storytelling method. I've connected with a person who complains often. How do I handle this? You can endure anything your mind can make endurable by treating it as in your interest to do so. Marcus Aurelius Do all things without grumbling or questioning. Apostle Paul If asked, I will give my help the best I can. I realize complaining is something we struggle to control and we should help another if asked for assistance. I am learning to control my desire to complain so I will not be a stumbling block to others. Thank you for sharing your mind with me. For your continued success, hear my secret. A friend to help is me, but a complainer I will never be. Now relax, control your mind, and be as you wish to seem empowered. Remember, it's the situation keeping my connection with him. I'm Lori Stiff, the Stoicist, and I believe in you.